lots of tea, like lots of tea. Uh, and I, I didn't foolishly think anything of it. Um, I just, you know. Things are getting bad by the minute for Amber as the trial continues and more weird stuff is being revealed about her. So the new story is that Amber is a thief. I'm not talking about all those lines she's stolen from movies and used in her testimony. I am talking about ripping a Latino artist off her art and copying and using the artist's designs without paying her or even tagging her to acknowledge her art. So a recent tweet has been circulating around the internet where the original artist claims Amber's team had reached out to her to do a rush job of making seven of the artist's dune strip hats and a horned headdress for Amber's friend Eve Barlow's birthday. She responded to Amber's team her rates for a bulk rush job before Halloween but they told her to trade the caps for an Instagram photo. This idea of trade is so insulting to an artist who tries to make a living off their work. The artist was later told that they no longer needed her services because the party had gotten too expensive and they couldn't afford her artwork anymore. The artist later finds out that Amber and her friends actually used her design to make the dune stripped hats and even the horned headdress without asking her permission or even paying for her designs. It doesn't come as a surprise to us anymore since we've noticed that even her testimony has stolen bits of movie scenes in them. When she explained when she first met Johnny Depp she kept insisting that he didn't drink alcohol Hall, but was always drinking a lot of tea. She kept insisting on drinking tea. Lots of tea. Like lots of tea. Uh, and I, I didn't foolishly think anything of it. Um, I just, you know, thought the man really seriously, I missed it before, but really, really loves tea. And we had this beautiful, I don't know. Before we realized she was referencing the movie Notting Hill, the scene where Julia Roberts says it to Hugh Grant. When explaining the first time Johnny hit her, she said Johnny told her that he would rather cut his hand twice, but this are the exact same words Mildred said in the 1945 film Mildred Pierce, where Mildred slaps her daughter Vita and apologizes saying she'd rather cut off her hand. That's why father. <laughs> She also explains an incident where Johnny held their Yorkshire boo out the window and started howling with the dog. He's howling like, like an animal while well, holding the dog out of the window and... But a photo has been circulating around of Amber holding the said dog out a car window. She seemed to have decided to steal from not only movie shows but from her day-to-day -day life too. We hope the artist can get compensated on her designs by Amber and her people. That's it for this video. Have a great day and hope to see you in the next video.